Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing another tag video, yay! <laughs> I actually really enjoy doing these tag videos because I think it's a great way of getting to know your YouTube friends more. And today's tag video is called Five Things I Bought Because of YouTube. And I was tagged by the wonderful Silent Essence, whose channel is all about luxury unboxings, hauls, lookbooks. It's just really, really fabulous. So if you're not familiar with her channel, I definitely recommend you go and pay her a visit. And I will of course link her channel to this video. So let's get started. So the first item I bought because of YouTube is jewellery from HRH Collection. Now if you're not familiar with this brand, it's actually designed by a lady called Alex who has a really large YouTube channel. I think she's got something like over 350,000 subscribers. So I started out just watching her videos because she does some really hilarious rants. I mean, she's always got something to rant about and her videos are very funny. But she's also got a huge handbag collection as well and uh, she buys a lot of Chanel handbags. So it's always fun watching her unboxing videos. and. Um, but with every video, she would always sort of introduce a few items from her jewelry design. And when she started introducing her Coco range, I was really impressed. Now this is one, um, it's the, the Coco bracelet, I think, you know, for obvious reasons. And um, so it's a double chain and this is, is real leather as well. So as soon as she introduced this range, I just thought, Mm, I've got to have it. So I went straight to her website and I ordered you know, a number of bracelets. So this is the, the double chain one. Then I bought um, a choker, which I actually wear more often as a double chain bracelet as well. And then I bought uh, the same one, the, the old bracelets. I don't know why I just started buying all the bracelets. So this is another double chain bracelet, but this one is in the the beige leather with gold hardware. So this is really pretty as well. And then I bought two chunky, whoops, I bought, excuse me, I bought two chunky bracelets. This one in the red leather. Um, so you could either just wear one or wear two at a time and then I bought another just a, a plain simple silver chain bracelet so I bought yeah just all bracelets and it comes in um, a, a nice little box um, and then you also get these drawstring little bags as well. Sometimes she'll send you um, sort of free gifts as well, but yeah, she has a really, really huge range. She's got all sorts of uh, necklaces, rings, bracelets. Um, she's got some really amazing necklaces actually. But uh, this range was the one that I was most interested in, the Coco one. So yeah, I just started buying um, her bracelets through watching her videos. Now, if you're interested in watching her videos, I will of course, you know, put a link in the description box, but just beware, she does swear like a trooper, okay? So if you intend to watch her videos, just make sure you haven't got any young children around, all right? Because literally every other word is the f-bomb all right so that's just something to be aware of okay but otherwise you know her videos are really fun to watch and she's got a great jewelry range so that's the first one so the next item i bought because of youtube is this liquid eyeliner and it's called one day tattoo and it's from the brand k palette now i've never ever heard of this brand before but i only came to know it through watching this youtuber called style susie and uh, she's a really great uh, makeup artist really really talented and i really like watching her videos because she does a lot of vlogs and she's a young single mother with um, a, a little boy 
and it's just you know she films her sort of daily struggles and uh, but then she does some really fantastic product reviews and also um, showing you how to do uh, various makeup techniques etc so anyway I was actually looking for a waterproof eyeliner and I'm not somebody who generally wears eye makeup anyway so right now I'm not wearing any eye makeup at all apart from just some um, under eye concealer and uh, and just uh, touching up my brow a little bit um, so I haven't got any eyeliner or anything on so I'm not somebody who experiments with eye makeup a lot so but I needed a waterproof eyeliner because um, I would you know use that for if I'm talking on stage because I'm I do a lot of public speaking so if I'm on stage and I'm sort of melting under the lights then I need something that um, it's going to to last and the one that I was using before I can't remember what I was using before now but after a few hours I would always end up with panda eyes so anyway I happened to watch this video that she was reviewing uh, different uh, waterproof eyeliners and this particular one came up the best so I did a search and uh, I managed to find uh, this brand uh, which is a Japanese brand and this one's called a uh, 24 hour tattoo and um, so I found it on eBay and it's all because I watched her video on YouTube so maybe just to give you a quick demonstration so it's got quite a, a nice tip it's like a felt tip and um, so I've just done a, a swatch so I'll just let it dry but you can see it doesn't smudge at all and uh, and if you run it under the the tap you'll find that it's it's pretty good so yeah so I bought this because I watched Style Susie so thank you Susie. So the next item I bought because of YouTube is card holder. Now I've never ever bothered with card holders before because I'm a big wallet kind of girl. And um, I remember one time just, you know, watching through different um, luxury channels and almost every one of those would talk about a particular card holder, especially the, the Saint Laurent ones or the Gucci Marmont ones and um, so I thought oh okay well maybe I'll give it a go and at that time as well I started sort of buying these small crossbody bags as well and and I thought that maybe it will come in handy actually to use a card holder just to save space so this was actually the first one I ever bought and this one is a Burberry one which I really really love and this is so flexible. I just love the, the red against it as well. And you've got, it's so roomy, you can fit loads of cards in. So this was the first one that I bought. And um, so since I bought my first one, I then sort of ventured out into getting something a little bit more extravagant. So the next one that I bought was actually this uh, Louis Vuitton pocket organizer. And I have talked about this before and it, it's so great. It's, you can fit, a million cards in there so yeah I just started buying card holders because I was watching you know a lot of youtubers rave about them on um, on YouTube so there you have it <laughs> so the next item I bought because of YouTube is this beauty here and it's my Givenchy Antigona and this is the, I believe this is the small size, I think. I think it's small. Now, last year, uh, when this one sort of, can't remember when it first came out, but certainly last year, a lot of the videos I watched within the, the Lux community, a lot of them were all sort of Antigona unboxing videos so I watched a lot of them and I remember thinking this is such a beautiful bag really structured but I also in the back of my mind I kept thinking mm, okay maybe it's a little bit plain but you know it would make a really good work bag but I'll just hang on so I kept holding on and holding on and holding on until eventually I think it was uh, October September or October I think 
I finally spotted this beauty and um, and I just fell in love with it. Uh, I really like the color and I just love the little metal embellishments all the way around it. It's a shame that the, the strap is not crossbody, but it's fine because it's the size of the bag I think would be a little bit odd to wear as a crossbody anyway against my body because I'm I'm only five foot so uh, but this is is really really great as a shoulder bag or just a top handle bag so when I saw this I just thought yeah gotta have it but it definitely got my interest going because of YouTube and finally the last item I bought because of YouTube are bag charms now, I'm not somebody who really ever bothered with bag charms before, but, you know, start, I would say starting from maybe two years ago when I watched quite a number of unboxing videos, there would almost always be a bag charm included. Or somebody would buy a new bag purchase and they'll have a, a bag charm hanging off it. So I, that kind of got my curiosity going. So I started looking into them and I ended up buying my first bag charm, which I use on my Elmer BB. And this is the Louis Vuitton bag charm, which is really quite cute. This is just the, the signature LV. So this was the first one that I bought. I mean, I've only got three anyway. Uh, and then I bought this one, which is the, another Louis Vuitton one. And this is the acrylic one with the tortoise shell as well. It's really cute. So I use this on my, usually on my Speedy, uh, but I kind of swap it out um, a lot. And then this is the latest one that I bought from Cochinelle or Cochinelli. And it's a rabbit fur one. And I origin originally I bought this to go with my Fendi double baguette, but then I realized it just looks so cute on my batignol. So I've started using it on, on this bag now instead. So yeah, I really love it. And I, I just think, you know, they can uh, make the bags just um, that little bit cuter. <laughs> so uh, yeah, thank you YouTube for all these wonderful things that I bought because I watched videos on your platform. And that's it. Thank you so much to Silent Essence for tagging me. And of course, there are a number of ladies I would like to tag and I will put their names in the description box below. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. So please give me a like. And uh, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to see what else I get up to. So until next time, take care and don't forget to smile. Bye-bye.